welcome to the second edition of Whip It Wednesday. Um, I'm Lydia, and this is Amber, and we are the KPBR podcast ladies. Yeah. So I hope you're enjoying our new little segment that we're doing. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. I'm yeah. really excited. Me too. Got some good progress done last week mm-hmm. on my whip, so that was nice. Yeah, me too. So what are you working on this week? I'm working on something that should have been done a long time ago, <laughs> so hence why we do this. But it's in my beautiful I Heart You um, owl bag. Mm, I love you know, that one. Me too, and it's fall, so it needs to be done. So um, very long ago, you guys saw me cast onto this absolutely adorable newborn sweater. So, I mean, really, how long should this have taken me? <laughs> and the babies do, like, any old time. I think he's due in December. Yeah, so... So this is the Newborn Vertebrae by Kelly Van Nierk, Nierkirk, mm. Nier, Nierkirk. Um, yeah, I'm almost done with the body. And then I just have to pick up and do the little band. So I really need to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the, so it's the newborn size. So this one is free. If you get the child or above, um, you pay for it. But this particular one is free. Um, but this is my Mirror of Arised colorway. And then the border will be this really pretty blue, which is the Aww. Cancun. So, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah, so I really need to get it done. Because I need to send it to Miss Holly. I'm also supposed to knit her a baby blanket for her birth. But <laughs> baby blanket's going to be on big bulky yarn. So I think it'll be okay. Yeah, that should go way faster. Yeah. So, but that's what well, I'm working on. Well, you know, with. if we go down together, like we were talking. Yes. You could uh, give it to her then, which wouldn't be till like, January. <sighs> True, which is kind of what I'm thinking would be better. Yeah. So, but, yeah. Girls weekend. I know, right? So, yeah. So, I have this. I'm, I think you have to knit the body. It's not, it's not very long. Um, so, it says work until body measures 22.5 centimeters, um, which I'm not very far from. So, yeah. I just Cute. need to, and it's just knitting and tying, so it's really not, like, as difficult. It's like, what, why haven't I finished right? it Right? I mean, it's, it's, look how, guys, it's, like, tiny. It's newborn size, so what, what is my problem? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, I cast on to that newborn hat for that um, knit-along you were hosting. The premium one? Yeah. And, yep, it's. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. And it's even a freebie hat, so, I mean, really, it should have took, like, a day to knit, right. and. When did I cast onto that? Like, when did we podcast last? I mean, like July. before July. Yeah, so July. So in July. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of sad. Because it's what October. <laughs> yeah. No, we podcasted in August, didn't we? Yeah, because it was just September that we didn't. Oh, so yeah. it was in August. August. So, August. Yeah. I mean, it's a little better. <laughs> a little better, but still. Well, it's like this. I cast onto this at the same time, and I'm like, it was funny because when we were starting to talk about our project, I was like, oh, what do I? Want? And I was pulling stuff out, and then I pulled this out, and I went, oh, my gosh, I need to finish that. I totally forgot. I'm like, oh, yeah, because um, that's supposed to be a gift for a baby <laughs> that's showing up any old time. Yeah, seriously, I have issues, you guys. I can't even remember all the projects I have cast on anymore. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. So, so that's what I'm working on this week because it needs to get finished. We so did funny. as a double take, so you know, might be good if I finish it before we, you know, start yet another double take. Yeah. You know, so this is the um Codus Codicus shawl by Caitlin Hunter. Yeah. So I'm I'm actually not that far from you know, I have the the two color work sections left 
mm-hmm. and then the border. Right. Well, I'm not. You're not that far. Not that far. Yeah. So, realistically, I just need to work on it. Right. I love this pattern. I want to make another one. Yeah. And I was loving knitting on it, so I'm not even really sure why I put it down. Other than we started the Ohm Shawl and we started this. Right. Yeah, so. It's just all the other things. Yeah. So, there's We just only... passed on to all the other stuff. But you guys can see details and stuff. So, yeah, so pretty. pretty. Yeah. So I'm excited to work on this. And I'm thinking I should be able to get the next, at least the next color work section done. Mm-hmm. So. Totally. Which will be awesome. I don't even know how many stitches are on here, but it's a lot. Yeah. It's kind of why I like, I think I switched to doing hats. Because between yeah. the ohm shawl and like the shawls I've been working on, the stitch count's higher. And so hats are like. They're just so much faster. <laughs> Instant gratification. Totally. I know. That was me. I was, I had sent her a text message I don't know, a couple weeks ago. It was before we podcasted last time. And I was like, yeah, I'm knitting all these hats because it's like instant gratification. And she's like instant. And I'm like, well, it kind of was because I finished two hats in like three days or four days or whatever it was. So, yeah. Well, that was that fingerless glove. I mean, I literally mm-hmm. started it like two days later. I had it finished. And I was mm-hmm. like, this is like awesome. Well, and I've been trying to take as advantage as much advantage as I can when my hands are feeling good because mm-hmm. for the longest time knitting was really painful. I could I could knit, but purling was horrible for me. And I'm still it's a little it's still kind of you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about. So for anyone who doesn't know, I have psoriatic arthritis and it started to affect my hands. And so most of this summer, this finger and my thumb were like hugely swollen. Mm-hmm. It's still a little swollen and my knuckles are like really ugly now, which is making sense. That's okay vanity right it's just mm-hmm. vanity keep telling myself it doesn't matter um but they're starting to finally feel better because I'm taking my shots for them now so now I'm like I can knit again and I'm like I want to knit all the things <laughs> so but so yeah hats but yeah I mean you're not very far yeah I know I'm like I just need to finish it yeah. and I've decided I think I need to dye this color on on all the things yes I do all the things. this is her uh, gadgets and gears and oh my gosh I think uh, we need a sweater like one of those tunic sweaters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be pretty. Wouldn't it? Yeah. It's such an involved colorway. I don't know why I'm even considering dyeing a sweater's quantity. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's one of my favorite colorways, but it's it's very involved. <laughs> but yeah. That's funny. I know, right? I'm a dork. It'd be so, pretty though, because we could do it even on the tweed. I was going to say, so maybe we figure out how to do, like, an accent or something of it so you don't have to do, like, a whole sweater quantity. Like, maybe it's the, maybe you could do it as the collar and, like, on the sleeves or something. I don't know, because the boxies with square. Oh. I don't know. Maybe we just don't do it for that one. Maybe we do it for something else. I don't know. Whatever. Something. Yeah. It needs to be something else. I know. So pretty. Yep. So that's, that's it for me this week. Since if you guys have been following us, you guys uh, saw our last podcast and where our older two girls oh, yeah. stepped in <laughs> and did some fun stuff with yeah, us. Yeah, we thought it would be kind of fun to switch back and forth between them and us because they both look so much like we do. And so we're like, oh, that'd be, yeah. kind, of, that'd be kind of silly. So Yeah, we were a little surprised by uh, how nervous they were. Oh my goodness, it was hysterical. <laughs> it was so funny. We had to like completely leave the room just for them to do their part of it. Mm-hmm. They're like, nobody can watch. Yeah, it was goofy. And my daughter's not normally shy about stuff like that, so I was surprised. And Bella, I was just like, she just kind of sat. It was, it was really actually kind of comical and cute. But she just like, Chris would tell her to start, and she would just sit there and not say anything. And we're like, uh, are we gonna talk now? <laughs> I've never seen her in the. Ent- I mean, 
she's never that shy about stuff. Like, I mean, she gets shy, but not like yeah. that. That was, yeah. it was funny to me. <laughs> it's like this new thing lately. She's just, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but I mean, she's, she's gotten more shy as she's gotten older, yeah. but like lately it's like, what do you mean you want me to speak in front of you? And I'm like, I'm your mom. Why can't you totally. speak in front I know. of me? Well, it was cute. We kept trying to explain to them. It's like, it's not live. We yeah. can edit it. So like, just be yourselves. Like, it's okay. <laughs> So they went through like one run, run through when we walked away from the room and then and then we came back in and we're like, okay, now that you guys have calmed down, because <laughs> literally they started, my daughter sounded like a robot. She was like, this <laughs> project in this bag is... And my daughter just kept giggling, yeah. which that is very her. Like, that's totally something she does. But, but like, you know, a couple seconds into it and they're like, normal. So yeah, they're they're like, fine. Hey, do it again now that you've, you know, yeah. figured it out. But yeah. speaking of that, I... As I was going through things, and the funny thing is, is our kids' birthdays are coming up. Uh-huh. So my oldest is November tenth, and hers is December eleventh. So it'll be fourteen. Oh. Ooh, gulp! I know. Right? <laughs> I can't believe they're gonna be driving in two years. Well, and it's so like... funny. So I have a bunch of friends who whose kids all just recently mm-hmm. went to homecoming, and they're all posting all these pictures, and I'm just like, that's next year. <laughs> I know. Next year. I know, right? Freaking next out year. a little bit, guys. Just, <laughs> next year. Just a smidge. So. I was moving things around and decorating for fall, and I came across this picture, and you guys have to look. It's so, <laughs> this is little Miss Bella, and she's totally having a crack up. And the wrong way. And that's my Emma. So this Look how was, little they are. This was Bella's second birthday. Mm-hmm. And seriously, I'm like, time warp. Really? I know. They're so it's cute. Like, you look at them now, and I'm like, were they ever that little? You know? I don't think it's, so. It feels like it's been so long. I know. You know? So I'm just like, yeah. But I thought I would share, since you guys got to meet all of them and yeah. their quirky personality last time. So I thought it would be kind of fun to share a picture <laughs> of how cute they were when they were so little. They were. They were super cute. <sighs> so. And they're going to be... But. Big people Big soon. People. I know. Life's going to be so different in the next five years. You know that, right? Ugh. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. I was thinking about that because I'm like, you know, in five years, I'm going to have one not at home anymore because she is bound and determined that she is not living at home well, see, during mine, college. Mine's like, um, you don't ever get to go away ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, you say that now. Like... By the time you're a teenager and you can drive and you have a life, you'll be like, yeah, I don't want to see my parents. They're, yeah, they're well, and see, I, I've, that's so weird to me because she's, like, all about hanging out with her friends and, and doing stuff. So you think that I she'd know. be like, I yeah. can't wait to get away and be no, with my friends. But, yeah, and, that's, she doesn't want yeah. to. My daughter's like, I'm living on campus. I want the full experience, you know, of college. <laughs> and so, yep. but like, in five years, I will only have one kid at home and she will be a teenager in high school. I'll still have two. You can borrow one. <laughs> I'll send yeah, that over here. But seriously, your son's going to be a teenager, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, close. He'll, let's see, he's seven. So, yeah, he'll be 13. Yeah. Right? That's right, right? I did the math right there. 12. He's seven, five. 12. Yeah, 12. 12. That's close. Yeah. 12. Yeah, so, he'll be 12. Seriously, you'll have a 12 year old and mm-hmm. a ninth grader. Mm hmm. going to be so crazy. I know. Yeah. Well, now that we've. <laughs> Really random off topic. Um, we just want to say uh, thank you yeah. for joining us for Whip It Wednesday. And don't forget to uh, post those pictures of you watching. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and stay tuned for our progress next time. Yeah. So, so. bye for now. Bye, guys. <laughs>